Hey there, night dwellers. Join the Phantom Troop for a serene escape into dreamland with enchanting sleep stories. Let the calming tales transport you to a world of peaceful slumber and restful nights. Hey there, I'm Isabella, your sweet storyteller. It warms my heart to have you here with me. Tonight, we're set for an adventure into the world of mystery and suspense. Get ready to be hooked by a story that unfolds in the shadows of the unknown, where every page brings us closer to an unsolved enigma. Before we dive into the gripping narrative, take a moment to let go of the day's events. Inhale deeply, letting the weight of the world lift from your shoulders. Exhale, embracing the soothing calm that surrounds you. As we embark on this mysterious tale, picture yourself on the edge of anticipation, eager to uncover the secrets that lie ahead. The story we're about to unfold draws inspiration from real life enigmas, weaving a tapestry of intrigue that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Feel the tension in your muscles dissipate with each breath. With the day behind you, and relaxation setting in, let the excitement of the unknown heighten your senses. Together, we'll navigate through the twists and turns of this suspenseful narrative. Now, as the world fades away and the mystery unfolds, allow the soothing rhythm of my voice to guide you into a tranquil state. Stay tuned as we step into the mysterious unknown, where every moment holds the promise of revelation. The summer of 1965 in the quaint suburban neighborhood of Queens was a canvas painted in hues of tranquility. White picket fences lined manicured lawns, and the laughter of children echoed through the air. But amidst the facade of domestic bliss, Secrets simmered beneath the surface, waiting to unravel the lives of the Crimmins family. Alice Crimmins, an enigmatic woman with flowing raven hair and piercing green eyes, was the focal point of both admiration and speculation in the close-knit community. Her beauty and charisma concealed a complex inner world, a labyrinth of desires and contradictions that cast shadows over her seemingly idyllic existence. Behind the closed doors of the Crimmins household, a storm brewed. Alice's tumultuous relationship with her estranged husband, Edmund Crimmins, was a source of constant tension. The unresolved grievances and bitter resentments threatened to tear apart the family at its core creating an atmosphere thick with discontent. One scorching July evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the suburban landscape, tragedy struck the Crimmins family. The two youngest members, four-year-old Eddie and five-year-old Alice Marie, vanished without a trace. Panic gripped the community as news of the children's disappearance spread like wildfire, and the once serene neighborhood transformed into a breeding ground for suspicion and fear. The search for the missing children unfolded against a backdrop of sweltering summer days and restless nights. The community rallied, combing through parks, alleys, and abandoned buildings in a desperate attempt to uncover any clues that might lead to the whereabouts of Eddie and Alice Marie. But as the days turned into weeks, hope began to wane, replaced by a pervasive sense of despair that hung over the community like a heavy fog. Amidst the chaos, Alice Crimmins found herself thrust into a harsh spotlight. Sensationalized headlines painted her as a femme fatale, a seductress whose allure masked a sinister truth. 
Whispers of promiscuity and infidelity surrounded her, fueling the fires of speculation. The media circus that ensued created a narrative that would forever alter the course of Alice's life. As the investigation unfolded, Alice stood at the center of a maelstrom of accusations and innuendo. The police, pressured by public opinion and fueled by the media frenzy, turned their attention towards Alice as the prime suspect in the disappearance of her own children. The tranquil suburban neighborhood became a battleground of conflicting narratives, where truth and perception collided with devastating consequences. In the face of mounting suspicion, Alice remained resolute in her protestations of innocence. The pain of losing her children, coupled with the weight of public scrutiny, took a toll on her. Yet she refused to succumb to the damning narrative crafted by those who sought a convenient scapegoat for the unspeakable tragedy. The turning point came when the lifeless bodies of Eddie and Alice Marie were discovered in a desolate patch of woodland on the outskirts of town. The community recoiled in horror as the once hopeful search transformed into a grim confirmation of the children's fate. The shadows that had hovered over the Crimmins family now extended to envelop the entire neighborhood, casting a pall of grief and disbelief. The revelation intensified the focus on Alice Crimmins, who now faced not only the loss of her children, but also the accusatory gaze of a community convinced of her guilt. The media, hungry for a sensational story, pounced on the tragedy with renewed fervor, further shaping the narrative against Alice. As the trial unfolded, the courtroom became a stage for a drama that captivated the nation prosecution painted Alice as a cold, calculating murderer, driven by dark desires and a willingness to sacrifice her own flesh and blood. The defense, led by a tenacious legal team, fought tooth and nail to dismantle the prosecution's case, uncovering inconsistencies and highlighting the lack of concrete evidence linking Alice to the crime. Yet, the trial was not just a legal battle. It was a spectacle that played out in the court of public opinion. The jury, swayed by sensationalized media coverage and biased portrayals of Alice's character, rendered a guilty verdict. In 1968, Alice Crimmins was convicted of the manslaughter of her children, sentenced to a prison term that felt like a lifetime of punishment for a crime she vehemently denied committing. Behind prison walls, Alice grappled with the harsh reality of her incarceration. She became a symbol of a flawed justice system, a victim of prejudice and sensationalism. Letters from supporters poured in, offering words of encouragement and expressing doubt about her guilt. However, the shadow of doubt that lingered over Alice's case did little to overturn the conviction that had shattered her life. In 1971, Alice's legal team succeeded in overturning her conviction on appeal. The mishandling of evidence and procedural errors were cited as grounds for a new trial. The decision marked a bittersweet victory for Alice, a chance for freedom but a reminder of the flawed system that had condemned her in the first place. The aftermath of Alice Crimmins' case left a community scarred by tragedy and a justice system under scrutiny. The shadows of doubt that had haunted Alice persisted even after her release. Some believed in her innocence, while others clung to the notion of her guilt. The media moved on to the next sensational story, leaving behind a woman forever marked by the shadows that had enveloped her life. 
As the years passed, Alice Crimmins retreated from the public eye, seeking solace in the anonymity of a life overshadowed by the memories of her children and the scars of a legal battle that had forever altered her destiny. The enigma of Alice Crimmins endures as a cautionary tale, a reminder of the fragility of justice and the enduring power of perception in shaping the course of lives. In the quiet suburban streets of Queens, where white picket fences still line manicured lawns, the shadows of innocence and guilt intermingle, casting a complex tapestry that defies easy interpretation. The story of Alice Crimmins remains etched in the annals of true crime, a haunting reminder that the search for truth is often obscured by the shadows that linger at the edges of our understanding.